This video is the update of house number one, the Susan and Jonathan house. You gotta remember, Jonathan and Susan don't own this land. They were just allowed to live allowed to live here by the landowner for the next ten years or two. So the best solution that we have is to have a house made of wood so if ever they have to move they can carry the materials back with them. What you're looking at here is the first housing project of charity defeat of the charity defeating poverty through opportunity incorporated. And as you can see, this house that used to be just bamboos and tarpaulin has been completely down during the typhoon. And so they are the first recipient of our house rebuilding project that the charity has now endeavor to help my countryman that's been the victim of typhoon. So far, they have managed to build this house like two bedrooms out of just open space like this that they used to have to live in now here they have two bedrooms um, so that's the bedroom of the couple but they were told that their brother was there because he works at call center at night and this is the girl's bedroom and some are sleeping here but you can already see that the house is not complete yet because you gotta remember there are 12 children in this house so agiko unlike before they are planning to put the toilet on the side but now they have changed their mind. This is their kitchen and the toilet should be away from the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So as you can see here, that the house is unfinished. There's still half of it been living like this and some of the roof are still been the one that they recycled to cover up the family. So what I've done right now is to buy additional materials for Jonathan so this is the one that I bought together with the team me yesterday you can see that I bought six more sheets of cement of corrugated iron and the prices has gone up 110 pesos more it used to be 485 each for the 12 schedule 22 which is the thicker one it's now 595 from 485 now i have seven more plywood to make the flooring because jonathan is planning to be, make more rooms two more rooms so the family can fit in then 20 more plywood ordinary at 390 and 60 cocoa wood of 2 2 by 8 then 2 3 by 8 then 2 3 by 12 so hopefully in the next few days the house number one of Sosan and Jonathan will take shape and this is also where Jonathan's gonna make a passageway towards the toilet on the back so it will be more clean and tidy from what they are living right now as you can see so yesterday I have also purchased for Jonathan out of the general fund of the charity is 24,170 and also I bought in home builders the toilet bowl and fittings for his toilet when he finally built it but as you know Jonathan is working on Norman the blind man's house for obvious reason that also Jonathan needs the income to provide for the family so at least this type of building materials that we are providing for him although you might think it's temporary it's far far better than the way that he used to live you can see that it's made of bamboo and tarpaulin and the thing is the children are wet at night if we haven't helped them but right now at least jonathan is making the house safer is making the house cleaner and safe safety for his family 
they now even designated this area to receive guests so they will be taking this out because we will be providing them one of the sofa that was donated by homemaker when they finished their house so this might be still not to the standard that they used to or you gotta remember jonathan and susan don't own this land they were just allowed to live allowed to live here by the landowner for the next 10 years or two so the best solution that we have is to have a house made of wood so if ever they have to move they can carry the materials back with them unlike the concrete houses that we build although it's far away places they own their land and that's the sad thing about the jonathan and susan the family that has 12 children so these are all the materials that was delivered last night here is the wood the 60 2 2 by 8 then 10 2 3 by 8 and then 6 2 3 by 12 and then here is the sheets the schedule 22 sheets and plywood for the walls 20 plywood one fourth for the walls and seven plywood for the floors so that will make a difference because Jonathan will work on this on Sunday until night time but this little help is making the family a little bit a little bit more cleaner and a little bit more safety I know there's safety enough before but not good enough if we are to concern the standards that you can't have the 12 children family living on tarpaulin and just bamboos but with your help my donors we are upgrading their house to make it look better to make it wider as well to accommodate the children so they just don't um, sick like congregate in one area they are living here in the roadside because like up there that used to be their shed and they are told to go off they can't build there anymore so right here the landowner on this roadside has allowed them them to be, stay here for the next 10 years or so so that's better so hopefully I will be able to see you so, to give you some progress to look as you can see some progress from here and here this is a big change on the family how they live in here that they have already rooms because like here they got loads of children the older one that's helping to earn a living for the family like right now there's a boy that's sleeping there he works in a call center so that's why he sleeps at the daytime he can get away from the jumping kids so he can have a rest because he's working at night and you can see Susan and Jonathan don't have much all they got is plastic plates pots and gallons to pitch their water and but this this couple really work hard to provide for themselves you've seen how selfless is susan that you can see that she needs help but she would rather have other people go first like tommy to be helped because she got no other means of income whereas him her and jonathan they still have the strength to find work to provide for themselves so this is the story of house number one Jonathan and Susan they are the parents of Mai Mai the one that the girl that I used to feature Mai Mai is now having her own family again and this is the shop of Mai Mai they are now she transferred here because the one that she used to have across the road has been completely destroyed and she is not allowed to rebuild on it so 
she is having her shop here together with her parents but I think she will move out soon because she has her a new family of her own now so the Susan and Jonathan the house with 12 children is one that deserves help because they do really work hard and also I am now employing Jonathan to do the building works on all my projects so joking aside it keeps him busy don't have kids so much i mean that will give him the income that he needs to feed this family so these are the children that the youngest ones are around here left on the house <laughs> 